After a 9-6-1 regular season, the Panthers qualified as the seventh seed and traveled to Grafton to take on the second seeded 14-1-1 Gators in the CM88 quarterfinals. And early on, Marlboro had several chances to jump out in front. First, it's Isaac Morales in the box, but his shot is punched away by Ben Clements. Later, it's Nikki Lobby with just a keeper to beat, but it's Clements with a diving save. The Gator sideline pleased with what they saw, and a few minutes after that, they'd see Clements save another, as Guimaras has it, but can't find the back of the net, keeping this one scoreless. On the other side, Silva would make a nice save here on the shot from Donaher. But Grafton would keep the pressure up, and eventually in the 32nd minute, Jeremy Kim lobs the free kick towards the net, and a Panther inadvertently deflects it past Silva. Kim gets credit for the goal that puts the Gators up 1-0. And just 30 seconds later, Grafton adds to their lead as Owen Schnabel lifts the free kick in the box. Silva comes up to play it. It bounces right to Tassinari, who shows up the quick reflexes and scores to give his club a 2-0 advantage they would take into the halftime break. And in the 47th minute, it seemed as though this one had slipped away from Marlboro as Declan Donaher tracks down the long lead pass and slips it past Silva to give the Gators a commanding 3-0 lead. But to the Panthers' credit, they would not go down easily. In the 68th minute, Gamaris controls it in the crowd, gets it past Clements, and buries it to draw the Panthers within two at 3-1. And then, just over a minute later, the Panthers strike again. This time, it's Lobby streaking down the left side and somehow gets this shot to go. Just an impossible angle, but it goes, and Marlboro trails just 3-2. And oh my, the Panthers have a chance here for the equalizer. But Lobby's bid goes just wide as the Gators hang on to defeat Marlboro 3-2. Grafton advances to the CM-ADA semis to take on Lemonster. 